Hey everyone, I'm Jesse Lang coming to you from Pismo Beach because I am looking to do some wheeling. <laughs> I want to learn some off-road stunts, so I've enlisted the help of off-roading veteran David Hamilton. I was beyond excited to tackle the dunes, but first I needed to become familiar with the terrain and learn how to approach the bowls. Jesse, have you been out on the sand dunes before? I have done off-roading, but never on this terrain. So what do I need to prepare for? Sand is a completely different animal. It's it's unpredictable. There's steep drop-offs you have to watch out for. Lots of low sand, which means you'll come up to an area and you'll just completely drop off the edge as you're okay. So you just you kind of have to want to drive up on things before you drop into it. It's almost a path. Okay. If you miss that path, you're gonna go off. <laughs> How would you feel if I rolled your Rubicon, David? Not very good. <laughs> I do have insurance. I, I wouldn't feel very good either. <laughs> I would feel very bad. <laughs> As you cruise around, you're just basically looking for those drop-offs. And sand is, you know, it's almost like driving on ice a little bit. But once you get out into the big bowls, if you don't keep on the gas and keep your momentum through the bowl, okay. you're going to end up slipping down in the bottom. <laughs> so it's sort of like a donut in that you don't let off the throttle. You need exactly. to hold it there. Yes. Okay. But if we maintain position, we should be okay. Exactly. Yeah. And then how do you exit out of the bowl? You want to keep your momentum as you drive into it. Okay. And there's a good exit, so you've got a good exit strategy. <laughs> so it's kind of nice driving around a little Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome! So that wasn't like That's a... really fun. Yeah. I would like to do that all day long. <laughs> oh my God. After David showed me the ropes, I was ready to take the wheel. I'm gonna do this thing. All right, here we go. All right. All right. I'm gonna aim for our limes again, right? Oh yes. Okay. Go up this way. Okay. Go up straight up to the left there. Okay. Gun it. Got it. Perfect. Getting through nice. this part. Okay. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Now we're sideways. So you kind of feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right there. Turned into it. You gear towards you. Okay. Okay. Towards driver. Keep steering. Keep okay. steering. More. Yep. More okay. You got it. Holy <laughs> shit. Now, now straighten. Now straighten. Yeah. Am I That's straight good. here? Okay. You're good. So see what happened? You should have turned just to your left. Okay. And and you would have continued. When you stay to the right, you'll it drives you up and it, it'll stop you. So, okay. So yeah. I aim too high. You aim too yeah, you aim too high. Okay. So you're doing good. You're okay. Good. You are. You're, All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I meant was this time I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Here we go. So I need to aim lower. Yeah. All right, okay. So you're doing great like letting off the okay. gas. Like cool. when you did that gun at that point. Okay. You doing good? This is gonna be Yep, good. Okay, good. Go left, go left. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Finally! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Conquering the largest bowl at Pismo Beach was challenging, but the thrill of completing a successful run was enough to make my day. Only our day was far from done. Next, it was on to the whoops. So David, tell me, what are the whoops? The whoops are, it's short for whoop de doos Basically, it's created by the tires from vehicles as they're driving on sand. Um, the wheelbase of the car kicks up the sand, creates these little bumps. Okay. And they're almost the same wheelbase as the car, so you're just like whoop de doing down the road. Okay, so the whoops will test our seatbelts. The whoops will test the seatbelts, <laughs> the suspension, everything that's in their car that's not, not tied Nailed down. down. We'll, be, we'll be bouncing all over the place. And as you can see, the faster is better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was that not supposed that to happen? That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> this is what whoops will do to you. 
That's really fun, though. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like being tickled. Like like at some point, horse. you want to throw up. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I grew up riding horses. Yeah. This is not like riding a horse. <laughs> this is like riding a poorly trained, abused horse. <laughs> Fucking Bronco. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So just feel, no number. Just feel. We just no, there's no speed. You just kind of, and some whoops are deeper than others. So if you see it, kind of back off a little more. And like I said, you don't need to hit the brakes. Okay. You let off the gas, and it'll slow you down. So oh, it's even more I fun know. when you drive. <laughs> it's like going through a washing machine. Yeah, it's day. really cool. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> sorry. That's where you get the bump stops. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what they're calling the whoops. The bumps, yes, the whoops. And you get the bump stop. I'm going to shock. Motor trim will pay for any damage we do to your Rubicon. <laughs> we will expense it from the wide open throttle account. <laughs> I spent hours traversing the dunes, and in addition to having the time of my life, I learned crucial handling techniques that kept me safe and helped me effectively navigate the sand. I learned about optimum sand tire pressure and the importance of airing down. I learned how to conserve momentum and how to reduce the chance of bogging by making turns as wide as possible. And I had a ridiculously good time. If you're ever given the chance to spend your day like this, do yourself a favor and say yes.